Welcome back everybody. Glad you're here. This is uh, episode seven. <laughs> Can't believe we're already this deep into it. Uh, and yeah, we're doing uh, two more boxes today. So uh, this one was really heavy. I haven't peeked at all. No idea what's in it. Uh, this unboxing is just insane. I gotta tell you this whole project. So if you have any comments about it, I'd love to hear it. If you like it, what I'm doing, please hit like, hit subscribe, check out the channel. We do music you've never heard of, react to different stuff. But uh, this comic book project has just been a lot of fun. And I'm really having a lot of fun doing it and making it. So if you want me to do more stuff like this, I'd love to. Uh, but I need to hear from you. So please let me know. If uh, you have any comments for making this better, I'd love to hear it. Uh, in the meantime, let's get started with this new box and see what's in here. I can tell you this much. Just from pulling these out into the stacks so I can like quickly do them, I pulled out about four stacks here. How about this doll? Um, picking up where, the, where one of the last ones left off with Green Hornet. But there are some old stuff in here. I see some old gold key. I see some old 12 cent, 10 cent stuff in here. So this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be crazy. So yeah, we're going to start with Green Hornet here, number seven from now. Number seven with a sticker, of course. Number eight, eight with a sticker. Nine, nine clean. Ten. 13, 14 with a sticker, 15 with a sticker, 16 with a sticker, 17 sticker. Man, I just hate that so many of these have stickers in it because they're really fine. I mean, just really, really great condition. Like these things are just obviously like bagged immediately, but unfortunately they have all these 25 cent clearance stickers on them. Number 20 clean. Not so clean. 21. 23. 25. That's clean. 25 again. 26 with a sticker. 27. 28. 29. 36. So here's now number one with a hologram trading card. It's really cool. If you can see that. This is uh, Tales of the Green Hornet, one of two. Again. And two of two. Bruce Lee, Lee Ode right there. Bruce Lee, of course, played uh, Kato on the Green Hornet series. So that's, hold on. So that's still the Green Hornet, two of two. Then we have two here. So I wonder if this is a regular series, Tales of the Green Hornet. Yeah, three. Sting of the Green Hornet. All these from Now Comics. Number two, the giant poster inside. Number one, Solitary Sentinel, part one of three. These future bad guys wear a green, dark tomorrow. Green Hornet, part one of three. Dark tomorrow, part two. Annual 1992, number one. Uh, Steve Warren's heroin note cards. Set of three, signed. Kato 2, number one, from now. So if you're a fan of the Green Hornet, you gotta be pretty impressed by this collection this guy has. 
even having that old one uh, from Archie. That was the uh, I think it was number. I can't remember what number that was. We found, but it was uh, the final issue that Archie printed uh, from the Green Hornet series. That was really cool. Right, this is Grimm's Ghost Stories. This is a nine zero two seven two dash four one one. Again, Gold Key did ne did not number their um, exteriors. If you want to see what number it is, you actually have to see the print in the inside cover. So, but it does have the sticker on it. Brian Polito's Gypsy from Avatar. This is the sultry preview. And the Gypsy just preview, not sultry. Oh, this one has the uh, Sleeping Beauty preview was on the other side of that. Sorry. So two copies in here. So that's the Sultry preview. This is the Sleeping Beauty preview. This is just the preview. And then this is Brian Polito's Gypsy number three. Halo Jones from Quality Comics number two. Not familiar with that name. Number three. Number five. Number six. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10, number 11, number 12, all these, most of these have, do have the sticker up here, unfortunately. Harold Head, Hitler's Cocaine. <laughs> I have no idea. 40 years later, 20 fathoms down. Number one of a two-part miniseries. This is from Kitchen Sink Comics. Only, nope, only the first one, not the second. Chaos Comics, The Haunted, number one. June, January 2022, of four, number one of four. The Haunted, number two of four. The Haunted, number three. And no number four. Now from Charlton Comics, this is Baron Werewolf's Haunted Library. Looks like it was marked on. Looks like issue number 21, September. This is number 24. Number 65, number 68, Millennium Comics, Heartstopper, number one, Helena, number two from Lightning, sticker. Helena number one. Oh, this is Helena and Cinder. Okay, number one. Stick. This is Herbie. It's got some writing on it. Number two. Herbie number eight. Number 10. Number 17. Oh, 
Okay, so this is America, America, America's comic groups, ACG, Time Traveler, Herbie. Uh, Black Days Publishing, The Ballad of Utopia. Gothic Western number one. Ballad of Utopia. I think that says number four up here. Hard to read. Yeah, number four. Number five. Monsters and Maidens, issue two of two. Monsters and Maidens, number one of two. That's Definitely Prozetta, yeah. Squid Girl number one. I don't see a publisher. The Honeymooners, number one, a triad publication, number one of 24. It's two dollars, so it's a more recent one. So it's not the original. I wonder if they were rep reprinting some of the original Honeymooner stuff. It's number two of 24. Number three, with an Art Carney interview, Christmas special. Ooh, this one's huge, it's heavy. Number five, number six, number seven with Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> with a Cindy Lauper interview. What does Cindy Lauper have to do with the interview with the honeymooners? Number eight and number twelve. All right, this is Honey West. So I believe Honey West was, yeah, she was part of the original Avengers, right? So she got her own show. This is from uh, LXVI, so 50, 60, 1964, Gold Key. Hook, number one, the official movie adaptation. Book one of four. Book two of four. Book three, he does not look anything like Robin Williams. <laughs> and book four of four. Oh, Fantagore Press. That was the one I was having a hard time reading in a previous episode. I could not make out what that... Okay, so they got the O inside the G. Look, seriously, do you see that? I could not figure out what that word... It looked like a... Uh, anyway. Horror in the Dark. Number one. Number four. Forty hot stuff number seven. Forty-eight pages of illustrated sci-fi fantasy. I vampire with a sticker on it. House of Mystery. House of Mystery number two eighty. From DC. 287, The House of Secrets, number 109, number 1, 
10. Number 111. Number 112. Number 113. Number 114. Number 132. Number 138. How to draw a free comic book day from Wizard. Image free comic book days summer special. Independence Day number zero from Marvel. Identity Crisis number one. Identity Crisis number one. Alt coloring. Identity Crisis number two. Oh, I just saw these on the back here. All right, so this is identical. Oh, 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 oh. This is signed, okay. So this is Identity Crisis number one of seven. Michael Turner signed right here with a certificate of authenticity. Date 42406. This certifies that the item accompanied by the certificate was personally signed by Michael Turner at Pittsburgh Comic Con 2006. All signatures are signed in person and authentic. Keith Daggett of Daggett's Comics. Nice. Same thing here, also signed by Michael Turner. With a certificate of authenticity. Signed by Michael Turner and Peter Steigerwald. Oh, Peter Steiger signed it down here. Witnessed by myself, Joshua G. Moore. Very nice. So these are signed and authenticated. Really great condition, too. And uh, this is Identicrisis Power Pack, and it has some cards in it, but I don't think came with it. These are loose and just put in the back of the case. Awesome. Okay, now we're getting into the last half of the box. For you, those of you wondering why I went from I to R, uh, it's because this is actually filed under Indiana Jones. This is Raiders of the Lost Ark number one, which is really cool. It's really good condition too. Number two. Number three. Oh no, okay, The Further Adventures of Indiana Jones, number one. Number two. Number two again. Number 11. Number 13. Fourteen, number fifteen, number seventeen, <clears throat> number seventeen again, number eighteen. 
21. Number 22. Two copies. Number 27. I remember that cover. <clears throat> I remember that cover. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, number one of three. Number three of three. Number one in a four issue. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, number one. Number two. Indiana Jones, Thunder in the Orient. Now he moved over to Dark Horse Comics. This is number five of six. Fate of Atlantis, number one. For the sticker. Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, number one. Young Indiana Jones, number one. As well, so I wonder if that's an alternate cover. Might be an alternate cover. Young Indiana Jones Chronicles number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number eleven. Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, The Curse of the Jackal, one. Really thick books. Yeah, so this is a graphic novel, uh, trade paperback. Number two, The Search for the Oryx. Number three, Peril of the Fort. Supernatural thrillers featuring it. From the world famous chiller by Theodore Sturgeon. Number one from Marvel. Huh? Number 21, Astonishing Tales featuring it. Apple Comics Invasion, Invasion 55, number two. Jack the Lantern. Ghosts, free comic book day from Castle Rain. This is Jade number four from Chaos. Mike Diodato's Jade Warriors number one from Image. Also number one. So let's be all cover. Impact Comics Jaguar number one. The Impact Era begins here. Number two. Number three. Jaguar God from Veritic, number two, by Glenn Danzig. I didn't know he did that. Definitely Frazetta artwork. Yeah, there's his sign. So Danzig must have wrote it. Jay and Silent Bob from Oni, number three of four. Clerks from Oni. I don't see a number. Jazz. Jet from Wildstorm, number two of four. Also. 
number three. All right, so this is Jet Power number one. Top quality comic, 10 cents. It says reissue down here. Came from Murphy Supermarket in Ohio. <laughs> wow. I have to look up that one. Jet Dream from Gold Key. 1963, uh, 1968. This is the Jetsons from Charlton, number four. John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number one. Then we have, weren't there a bunch of John Carter in another one? Look at that. This one's in really good condition. John Steele. I'm assuming it's number one because somebody wrote number one on here. But John Steele, secret agent from Gold Key. Published in 1964. Johnny Quest from Comico, number one, sticker. Johnny Quest number four, number five, number 11. Number 16, number 17. Johnny Quest Classics number one. Number two. Johnny Quest The Real Adventures number two. Number five. Number nine. An Action Quest One Shot. Johnny Raygun Classics from Jetpack Press for a free comic book day. Josie from Archie. Number 34. JTF Three Counter Strike, March two thousand three. Oh, this must be number three, I guess. Minus three. I don't know. I don't see that. It's from Antarctic Press. That must have been maybe number one. I'm not sure. This is a small, small. Counter is number two. This is a small version, so I wonder if this is an import or just published that way. Uh, Jungle Comics number one, 1987, from Blackthorn Publishing. Jungle Girls number one from AC Comics. Jungle Gym from Dell. I don't see any date on April, June, but
volume one, number 12, 1957. Jungle Gym number 22 from Charlton Comics. Number 23. And number 28. This is the Jungle Twins. Kono, Tono and Kono, the Jungle Twins from Gold Key. This one's got a sticker on it. Number on that is 310. This one goes to 410. 503, scratched up number. It says a number 13, apparently. Then it switches over to Whitman. Sticker. Free comic book day, Justice League Unlimited. Kabuki, number one from Image. Kabuki, number two. This is issue three, but it's from Caliber. So it moved from Image to Caliber. Act three. And then we're back to image number seven. Kazar, Kazar, however you want to say it. Kazar the Savage, number one from Marvel, 1981. Not great condition. The Spine's been rolled around. Very nice. Number two. And no stickers. <laughs> Number three. Number four. Number five, number six, number seven, ah, nice run, one through seven, then it skips to 13. Spider-Man. Number 22, Shanna the Savage. Number 23. I got that whole story arc in there. That's cool. 24. 26, 34, in space, collector's item, last issue, then Kazar, number one from 97, number four, Brian Polito's Killer Gnomes from Avatar, number one. <laughs> Love that cover. <laughs> Kingdom Come, Trey Paperback. Great, great story. Awesome artwork, Alex Ross. Mark Wade writing it, yeah. That's awesome. Pull that one inside. Night Shift, 
from the Everett from Everett Harrison Harrison Hartsoul. Everett Hartsoul's night shift. Chromium and Holochrom. Kolchak. Tales of the Night Stalker from Moonstone, number six. Kolchak. Tales black and white and red all over. This is cover A for Moonstone. Peter David. Army Surplus Comics featuring Kelly O'Hare, Cutie Bunny, number four. Kroll, number one. Oh, that's awesome. I love that movie. One of Liam Neeson's first roles. Call the Conqueror, number one. That's awesome. Number two. Number three. The Demon Whores of Tulsa Doom. If you know Conan, you know Tulsa Doom. Didn't look nothing like that though. Number five. Number six. Number eight. Oh, there's number seven. Number twenty. Twenty-one. Writing. Twenty-four. Color Destroyer? When did he do that? I guess they did a title change when they went from uh, Call the Conqueror somewhere between 8 and 20, just went to Call, and then he becomes Call the Destroyer. Then back to Call. Oh, Call number 5. Oh, this is the newer series, I think. So it's 60 cents, not 30. Seven. Nine. Call the Conqueror number one. Number two. Number three. These are interesting covers they did back then. Really cool. This is 1983. Four. Four again. Call the Conqueror number one, 1982. So these are kind of all messed up and I guess have That's strange. I'll have to figure that out. Lady Crime. Lady Crime number one. Lady Demon from Chaos Comics. So. That was a fantastic box. Just some crazy old stuff in here. Jetsons, Jungles, Twins, It, old Marvel, old, old Marvel, like 20 set, 30 set Marvel, Call the Conqueror, the uh, authenticated um, Michael Turner signings on the Identity Crisis, 
um, that old Herbie, <laughs> which is strange. So just, uh, and, and the Kingdom Come graphic novel, that's awesome. I just love that. I already got it, but I love it anyway. And all the Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom and adaptations and stuff. And just, that was just a fantastic box. Just a crazy box. I didn't know there were that many jungle things. So that run of Kazar was really great. So fantastic. Like I said, if there's stuff in here that you recognize that I didn't like emphasize because I don't realize that it's that big a deal, drop me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear it because, because you know, some of this stuff just gets right by me. I mean, some of it's way before my time and other others of it are like outside of like the purview that I was in, especially the horror stuff. Um, I, I wasn't into the horror at all, so I didn't collect any of those, but a lot of these go back to like 60s and 70s DC Marvel. And uh, yeah, so, so a little bit before I started collecting in, in the early 80s. Um, so if you have any information about that, please let me know. I'd love, I'd love to hear it because uh, I'm always eager to find out new stuff, but have it, seeing, seeing what's in here and I'm gonna have to go do the research and stuff and come across it. But if you guys can drop me comments and leave me ideas about it, I'd love to hear it. So let me get this packed away and we'll get on to the next box. Whew, okay. So this is a Spider-Man box. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I got Web Spider-Man, I got Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, and uh, I think I have something else in here. I'm not sure, but I had to pull them all out because it was about three quarters full, which means it was locked over. So as you can tell with these right here, it's got some bends in them, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. All right. So we got Web of Spider-Man number one. Man, this was part of my original collection. I miss these guys. Number two. Remember to fill these up, man. If nothing else, stand them up sideways so that they don't bend like this, man. It's just unnecessary. Number three. Two copies of that. Number four, two copies. Number five, two copies. Number six, the Secret Wars crossover. Oh, here's that duplicate, uh, the one that went opposite of Amazing Spider-Man, had the black costume going into the gold building. It went side by side, I thought it was in Spectacular, but it was in web, it looks like. Secret Wars 2 cover, crossover. Number seven, cancel Christmas. <laughs> Number eight. Number nine. Number 10. Fortune. Number 11. Got double copies of all of these, it looks like. Number 12. Number 13. Fourteen. Got the entire run. That's awesome. Fifteen. Offset cover. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen humbug. <laughs> I love that guy. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Slide. 24, 25, nice, the entire run, 1 to 25 there, 26, 
27, 28, 29 with Wolverine, 30, 31, 32, 33. Maybe the Bill Sink was to do recovery. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> oh, so that was 33, and then it skips to 37. So 1 through 33, the entire run. 1 to 33 is fantastic. And then it skips to 37. Sorry, 47, 48, 57, 58, 59, 60. Giant size annual number three, Web of Spider Man. Annual number one, two copies. Annual number two, two copies. Five, which is water damaged big time. Let's see it. Wavy mold. That's the Atlantis Attacks crossover. Nice. Nice runs for uh, Web of Spider Man. I love that series when it came out. I always hated how they took. I loved. I loved their logo on here when it first started. It had the webs made from webbing, and then they got in there somewhere around. Then they kind of swapped it up here and centered it, and kept moving it around a little bit. And then they changed it over to this. Yeah, right at like number thirty. Well, somewhere in between thirty-three and thirty-seven, they changed it over to here. Then they got rid of the webs. Then they brought back the webs a little bit. I hated that. I always like I always liked that original uh, title design that they did, and they kind of screwed all that up. All right, Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number thirty-eight. This is nineteen seventy-nine with Morbius. Thirty-nine. 
40. Forty-one with Giant Man RIP. Forty-two. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Peter Parker, number 50. 51. 52. 53. 54. 55. What am I saying? 55. What? No. Oh. What happened here? 50, 53. 54. Okay. 73. 74. Seventy-five. Double issue. Seventy-six. Seventy-eight. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. The spectacular J. Jonah Jemison. 81 with Cloak and Dagger. 82. 83. 84. 91 with the blob. I remember that issue. 92. Great cover. 96. 97. 98. 99. The spot. I love that guy. I love this. I love this cover. I love this book. I love that character. I'm so glad when he showed up in the uh, across the universe, across the multiverse. Sequel. Cool. One hundred. Two copies. Peter Parker, one hundred and one. 
102, 103, two copies, 104, two copies, 105 with the wasp, 106 with the wasp not dead, two copies, 107, two copies, 108, Sin Eater, 109, two copies, 110 with Daredevil, two copies, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115 with Doctor Strange, 116 with Sabretooth, 117, double copy, 118, 119, 120, <clears throat> 126, Spider Woman, 127, man they got this entire run, it's awesome, 128, 129, 130, 131, Oh, I remember that with Vermin. Yeah, that was a great that was a great arc. 132. Two covers. King size annual number one. Annual number four. Annual number five. I remember that one. Two of them. Annual, annual number six, Ace Two, and annual number seven. Okay, so those annuals were slid in right between, uh, right after 132. So it does pick up with 134 here. Spectacular 134. Oh, that's when, uh, is that when it changed? One thirty-two. Yeah. Okay. So the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man title changed. So that's why they put the annuals there after one thirty-two. I think one thirty-three was the first one, but they removed the Peter Parker and just now it was just Spectacular Spider-Man. But we don't have one thirty-three. So one thirty-four Spectacular. One thirty-five. 136, 137, 138, 139, Tombstone, 140, 141, 142, in Atlanta, 143, 145, skipping 144, 146, Inferno crossover, 
147, 148, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, number 157, Giant size Spider Man and Punisher number four. Annual number nine. Atlantis attacks crossover. Spider Man versus Wolverine number one. Two of them. That was a one shot. Spider Man and Daredevil number one. Special edition. That was a one shot, also, I believe. Spider Man and Power Pack. This was the uh, NEA, uh, National, Dom Na National Education Association. Free. Also, a one shot from 1984. Cool. Well, man, how could you not love? that box just nothing but spider-man if you're a spider file that's the guy this is the box for you <laughs> just a lot of really great great runs just uh, a lot of great runs that web of spider-man went from 1 to 33 uh spectacular peter parker had that run from i think from the 80s all the way up into 130s or something just entire runs of that stuff so it's just really really cool um so yeah what a great box can't help but love Spider-Man. So, yeah, what'd you think? See anything in there that you really like? Definitely drop me a comment below. Hit like, hit subscribe if you have not already. And uh, let me know what you think. If you saw some stuff in here that, that kind of freaked you out, I want to know why. Uh, I mean, I collected a lot of this stuff, but it's been a long time since I collected. I remember collecting Boy with Spider-Man. I think I had it a full run up to about somewhere around the same place, like 33, 32, somewhere in there. Uh, and then I, and then kind of off and on it a little bit after that. It went through a change in there, if I remember, and I just didn't like the way they changed it up. Um, but, man, those spectacular Spider-Man, all those covers, those covers were bringing back some memories for sure. I remember a bunch of those things. The spot, I love the spot. I had that one hanging on my wall for a long time. So anyway, I'm out of here. We'll do another box again in another episode. Come back and uh, check it out. Bye, y'all.